Thanks for watching Glitch Data. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified when I make new content. The Homebrew Browser is an app that you can install on the Wii via the Homebrew channel that lets you download games, emulators and other apps onto your Wii. A little more than a year ago, I made a tutorial on how to download it. It's by far my most popular video, and it's probably where most of my subscriber base came from. But amongst all the wonderful support, it seems like quite a lot of you guys were running into errors. Today, I'm doing an updated version of that tutorial using the OpenShop channel, which is a version of the homebrew browser that's not only much easier to install, but it also has a larger library of apps to offer. So let's get to it. Before we begin, you'll need to make sure that you have the following. A Wii that's been homebrewed. You can find out how to homebrew your Wii by following my tutorial up here in the card or in the link in the description. You will also need a USB stick or SD card. I would recommend having one that's at least 8GB in size. And a computer. If you're using an SD card for this tutorial and your computer does not have an SD card reader, you will also need a USB to SD card adapter. I'll leave a link to one in the description. Open your browser and go to oscwe.org. You'll be taken to this page where there is a big blue button that says Download Homebrew Browser. Click it and you'll begin downloading the Homebrew Browser zip file. Once the file has downloaded, open your file manager, go to your downloads folder and drag the homebrew zip file to the desktop for ease of use. Now extract the zip folder by right clicking and hitting the extract here button. You should now see two folders and a text file. You can delete the folder called homebrew browser guide and help as well as the readme text file. Now, plug in your SD card or USB stick. You'll need to make sure that it's formatted to the FAT32 format. Create a new folder on your device called Apps by right-clicking, selecting New, and then Folder. Open this folder and drag in the Homebrew underscore browser folder. You can now eject your SD or USB and head over to your Wii. Plug your SD card or USB into your Wii and open the Homebrew channel, which should be on your main Wii homepage if you have homebrewed your Wii. Once on the Homebrew channel, you should see an option called Homebrew Browser pop up. Click on it and hit load. The Homebrew browser should begin to load. This process can take quite a while on first load, so I'll speed it up and see you once it's done. Once the homebrew browser has loaded, you'll see a page that looks like this, with some tabs along the top like games and emulators. To install an app, simply click on it and hit the download button. Once the app is downloaded, you can go back to the Homebrew channel by pressing the Home button and hitting Return to Launcher. You should now see that the app you installed is now in the Homebrew channel. And that's how to download the newest version of the Homebrew browser for your Wii. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so that you don't miss any future uploads. And as always, stay awesome and have a great day.